Hi everyone and welcome to today's maths lesson. So this week we've moved on to a new topic, measuring length and height. And yesterday we looked at all the different vocabulary, so longer, shorter, taller, shorter, the same even. And you were looking at the different lengths and heights of people in your family or shoes. So when you were comparing your family members, you were looking at height. Who was the tallest in your family? Who's the shortest in your family? So pause the video in this picture. Who is the tallest? Is it the lady here or is it the child? OK, hopefully you spotted that the lady is the tallest and the child is the shortest. And then you moved on, possibly if you did the next activity to looking at the everybody in your family's shoes, which one was the longest, who had the shortest shoes. So again, look at these two shoes. Is it the more um, sort of work type shoe that's longest or is it the trainer that's longest? Pause the video and have a chat again. Okay, so hopefully you have agreed that this work shoe that's maybe used by a man is the longest and here is the trainer which is shortest. So when we're looking at length, it's going along, isn't it? We're looking at the direction that way. When we were looking at height, we were looking, looking up who's tallest from the ground up. Some objects though, we could look at both their height and their length because they're 3D, they've got, they go up and they also go across. So look at these cereal boxes here. I photographed a Weetabix box and a Rice Krispie box next to them. Which one is the tallest? Pause the video and if you want to challenge yourself, write me out a sentence saying something like the Mm. box is tallest. Okay, pause the video and have a go. Right, let's see, did you get it right? Did you say B is the tallest, isn't it? Or you could have written something like the Rice Krispies box is taller than the Weetabix. Let's see. The Weetabix box here goes up to that high, whereas the Weetabix box is only that high, isn't it? So well done if you got that correct. So we could also look with our, me my way. with the boxes, we could also look at their lengths, couldn't we? So here's another photograph of the Weetabix of the two boxes. Now looking at the length, so you want to look this way. So it's, looking along the bottom, which one is longer, which one is shorter, okay? Pause the video, have a chat with your grown up, whoever's in the room, which one do you think is longest? Again, if you want to challenge yourself, you could write yourself a sentence to explain it and why. Right, did you say, a, the Weetabix box is longer than the Rice Krispies box. So while the Rice Krispies box was taller, the Weetabix box is longer, isn't it? Fantastic. Okay, well done if you spotted both of those and you got those correct. We could also do it with other things. So anything that's got that 3D, three-dimensional aspects themselves. So here I've got a building blocks from a game of my sons and a Lego piece. Again, we can have a look which one is tallest. Pause the video, which brick is tallest. Well done, did you say A, the Lego brick, the um, building brick, sorry, is the long, the tallest. It goes all the way up there, whereas the Lego brick only goes like that, doesn't it? Okay, so still looking at those two bricks, which one is the longest this time? Again, pause the video, which one is the longest? Right, what did you say? Did you say 
Let me get my little arrow so I can move this screen out of the way. B, the Lego brick this time is longest, isn't it? Because the building block only goes that little way. And then the Lego brick is that long. And if I move my arrow, you can see, oh, let's move the picture, that's no good. Let's put that back there. There we go. You can see the little arrow I use to measure my building brick is a lot shorter than the arrow that's measuring the Lego brick. So well done if you got all of those right. So your activity today is to go away and find a couple of items. They could be building bricks like I've used here, cereal boxes that I used in my earlier slides, maybe some toy cars you've got or some teddies. Have a think, find some objects, work out which is the tallest, which one's the shortest, which one's the longest, which one's the shortest again, okay? And if you really want to challenge yourself, write me some lovely sentences explaining which one is which. Thank you very much, and I'll see you again tomorrow in our math Zoom. Bye-bye.